Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Photoshop. This is a series where you can watch me edit a photo from start to finish, and hopefully learn how to use a few tools in Photoshop along the way. So in this episode, I'm going to take this already great photo and just make the colors pop a little bit by using the color balance tool. Now whenever you're working in Photoshop, you can always go apply adjustments right on top of the image by going to Image, Adjustments and applying the adjustment right on top. But I always like to go to layer and create a new adjustment layer. That way you can edit it. So I'm gonna create a new color balance adjustment layer and I'm just gonna play around with some of the sliders here. So just to show you, you can adjust the colors of the shadows, midtones, and highlights of your photo. So let's start at the midtones. I wanna keep preserve luminosity checked because that'll help keep the vibrance of the photo and we're just going to increase the sliders a bit really it's a little bit about experimenting and taking the sliders back and forth and seeing what kind of mood you want to add to the photo but since this is a warm sunset photo I'm going to boost the reds and, and greens and blues in the photo in the midtones, so the blues of the water and the reds of the sky. Then I'm going to go to shadows and I'm going to darken the blues even more. Just add about plus 12. And I'll even add some, some cyan into the sky, so minus 8. And I'll just do a little bit of purple, just minus 2, a little bit of that magenta in the shadows. Now where you can really make it pop is in the highlights. And since it's that nice warm sunset, I'm going to take the yellow slider and really drag it down almost to minus 30 and turn that red in the highlights up. And I think it looks nice with a little bit of green in there as well so that, that really warm, bright sunset. I'm really bad at using adjectives there, but you see I'm just playing around with the sliders. And then after you have all three, you can go back and forth and adjust some. But really where you get that pop is really cranking your shadows and cranking your highlights. And then using the midtones to influence the in entire mood of the photo. And I like to preserve luminosity because you can see this is with and without. So it really looks a lot better with the original luminosity. So as you can see, one simple adjustment layer really takes your photo and makes it pop. It makes it a little bit more eye-catching and lets you influence the mood. So this is after and this is before. So it really brings out those colors. If you feel like it, it was a little too strong, you can adjust the opacity down a little bit. And another cool trick you can do is play with the blending mode of this adjustment layer. So I can even set it to something like overlay and then adjust the opacity to about 50 percent and all of them create really popping effects so of course it's going to be different for each photo results will vary but as you can see it really increased the vibrance on this photo so thanks for watching another episode of let's photoshop hopefully you learned how to use a different or new tool and i'll see you next time